Hello everybody, it's Brandon again. I hope you're all doing good today. We recently took a look at Zorin OS Core and it was pretty neat looking. It is a uh, Ubuntu based distribution I believe and it has a really nice looking theme, really clean, really polished and it got me curious about the light edition of it. So I went ahead and installed that on my virtual machine here and we're going to just go over it real quick. Now this light version of Zorin OS uses the XFCE desktop which some of you might be familiar with. I uh, Back whenever GNOME 3 first came out and I hated it, I switched to XFCE for quite a few years and I and it works fine and but I eventually switched back to GNOME uh, as GNOME improved but they've done a pretty good job making this look almost pretty close to what their uh, Zorin OS Core looks like. And you can check my other video on that to kind of look at it. This theme is very similar. You can obviously tell the file manager, this uses the uh, the XFCE one, it's called like Thunar or something. Um, I don't think it looks as clean as the GNOME files file manager. But it comes with the exact same software application for installing programs. It comes with the same flat pack support built right in, so it's really easy to go ahead and install pretty much anything you're going to want. Um, and let's see, it comes with the LibreOffice ready to go when installed. It all looked good, looks nice. It comes with Firefox by default. I would probably install something else like Chrome, which you can find online. And we kind of went over that in the other um, Zorin OS video. And it has the Zorin appearance. It does not have as many theme options as the core version did. But it does have these two, which is fine. Um, the default for me is probably good. You can kind of change the theme colors and everything to give it a little different look. It has a dark mode throughout, which is really nice. And so the reason... I was interested in the light is because a lot of people that watch this channel here are obviously interested in Chrome OS Flex because they probably have an older laptop where Windows just isn't cutting it anymore. And But one thing I've noticed is just look at the comments for all my videos. How many people want to use Chrome OS Flex but they want to use Linux everything on it, you know? I want to try this Linux app, that Linux app. And as you've seen on the channel, we've been able to get a lot of that stuff to work, but it it's not optimal. At the end of the day, Linux apps work better on Linux. So if you're in the boat, like, okay, personally on my two laptops, I love Chrome OS Flex because I'm only using web apps. The only time I do Linux anything is when I'm making a video about it. Um, but if you want Linux support, I'd strongly consider something like this. And I might try the uh, Zorin OS on the laptop and just show you guys how it runs compared to the Chrome OS Flex because I, I suspect it's going to perform just as good and the Linux stuff is going to work better and as you can see I think this looks pretty nice and this is the light edition um, personally I think the core looks better to me and there's other little quirks of XFCE which makes it just not as good right now in my opinion and so I'm going to try I mean, the reason people use XFCE is because it's lighter on resources, theoretically. I, The times I've used it, I haven't noticed it performs that much better, personally. But if your hardware is, like, super low-end, it might be the way to go. But like we said in the last video, uh, with the software repository with flat packs on here and everything, you can use a Zorin OS and probably never have to go into the terminal at all. Pretty much anything you need is going to be in the repositories here. We went over like Visual Studio Code is in there. You can get games in there. I think you can install Steam right from here without having to do anything. And if you want to install something that's not in the repository, such as Google Chrome, for instance, which we talked about, you just search or download Chrome. And it'll basically be like a one-click install. You're going to want the deb package for anything you download for this distribution. I said I wasn't going to download Chrome, and here we are downloading it. But, um, yeah, you just double-click on it, run anyway, and it'll install. 
But this theme is really nice. This is probably the nicest looking XFCE that I've seen in a while. The people who made Zorin OS did a pretty good job. It's pretty polished. So I'll give them that. And so here it's going to install. Anyway, um, yeah, if you're one of those guys who's interested in Chrome OS, but you want to install it and run a bunch of Linux and play games and stuff on it, I'd highly suggest checking out something like this. Um, yeah, continue. So anyway, here we got Chrome going. I mean, if you think about it, you take a distribution like this, you install Chrome, you uh, take whatever web apps you normally use and install those as progressive web apps, uh, you'll have a pretty good time. Now, see, look how Chrome, I think, worked better on GNOME. And another thing that I've never liked about XFCE is it's always hard to resize your windows. Like... Despite the lagginess here, which could be the virtual machines problem, um, I always have troubles on XFCE getting the the little cursor to give me my corner here to resize a window. That's something that's always annoyed me about XFCE. And so, if your computer handle it, can handle it, I would suggest trying the Zorn OS Core versus Lite. Uh, if your computer just can't handle core, then light is something you can do. But there's little things in XFCE that to me are annoying. The window resizing thing is the biggest one. I've always hated that. Uh, I almost forgot about it until I started testing it right now. But yeah, so that's the deal. Um, I'd say go ahead and give this a try. If you guys want to see it, I will install this on a very low-powered laptop and see how it runs and show you all. And... Oh yeah, if there's any other Linux distributions you want me to take a look at, go ahead and uh, let me know. Somebody suggested something called Ubuntu Web. I couldn't get it to run in the virtual machine. Um, I've tried both... Uh, uh, well, I tried two different ones and I couldn't get it working. Maybe it would work on actual hardware. I don't know. The premise to it doesn't sound that interesting to me personally. It's kind of like a Chrome OS thing based on Firefox. I don't like Firefox. But maybe you do. Maybe I'll see if I can get it working. But anything else you want to see, you guys just let me know. I'm happy to test all this stuff out for you because it's kind of just fun for me. But yeah, if you have any questions, say so in the comments. Uh, it'd be cool if you subscribed and liked the video. And uh, other than that, I hope you all have a good day. Bye now.